Whoa. That's a little bit on the low side. <laughs> okay, yeah, my face in here. That'll probably do the trick. Okay. We as Christians have a secret weapon, so to speak. <laughs> Um, it's not secret to the enemy. The enemy knows all about it. He fears this secret weapon more than anything else that um, a Christian can do. We use this to influence God. We um, move the atmosphere, the things around us, um, in faith, using this weapon, the enemy is defeated, the mountain is moved, the uh, cancer is healed, the bruise and the afflicted and those who are in bondage are set free. And this, this secret weapon and, a, and I call it secret again because it's not secret to the enemy but it's secret to the Christian because not too many Christians are using this weapon uh, the Bible tells in Ephesians 6 that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal carnal is a statement which means physical or flesh uh, talking about the things you handle with your hand. That's carnal. That's carnality. The things that we can move with our hand. And But by faith, things are moved in the atmosphere when we speak. And you're wondering what this uh, secret weapon is. It's, it's prayer. Um, I asked a pastor one time where I go to church um, ask him uh, what are you going to do about this he says well I'm going to pray and they says well is that all you're going to do he says that's all I need to do is is just pray because God is a is when we by faith believing the literal hand of God is moved and now think about this. The hand that made the heavens and the earth is moved for you. The hand that puts your eyeballs in your head is moved for you. The hand that created everything that you can see, feel, hear, touch, smell, created all that there is that, that we know. And, and even what we know with, God created it. This hand by faith is moved for you and for me. And we access power over the enemy through this uh, weapon called prayer. And the Bible said that Jesus went out and prayed um, in the Garden of Gethsemane and, and he prayed for hours at a time. And you know, I, I'm not sure that if this was a practice that he did every day. But it was a practice that he did commonly. And I'm sure that he talked to the Father all the time. But every once in a while he just had to get away and get some spiritual um, fire inside of him that he could overcome the enemy with. And yeah, I'm speculating. It's not. It's not really known the exact amount that he prayed, but I think it's more or less how he prayed rather than um, how much that he prayed. And he he did pray often, and he, the Bible tells us, and uh, he did pray very intense. And that's a good way to look at it because when you practice with a weapon, brother, you need to be intense with that weapon. And that's uh, exactly what prayer is. Prayer is a weapon that we use against the enemy to defeat our foe. 
and to take ground. And and every place that you step your foot, you can have in prayer with this weapon. Amen. Okay, God bless. It's kind of short tonight, but it's getting late. Uh, thank you for joining me. Come back again. Be with me. Uh, we talk about something great. Write stuff on here. You know, give me some suggestions. It's not like I'm running out, but you know, God's leading me in all this. But I love to hear your words too. Okay. God bless. We'll see you again next time. Cross in the middle, minister.